Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Your Game Therapy. As always, I'm your host, Kander, and tonight we are diving into episode number five of Subnautica. Uh, when last we saw each other, we had just discovered a new wreckage site. We learned about the Habitat Builder. We now have repaired our radio so we get random pings every once in a while. And we discovered that there is a neon world beneath the surface, at least what we first originally thought was the bottom of the ocean. So 100 meters deeper, there is a Tokyo waiting to be explored for us. Uh, we have the rebreather, we have the habitat builder, and we have a radiation suit. And it's just a matter of figuring out what we want to do and in what order. But that is about everything I'm going to say at the top of this hour. Um, I'm actually surprised by how no pun intended, deep, deep this game goes. Um, I have a feeling that this is just the beginning uh, because every every time I looked up how long it takes to beat this game, I've heard it's like 30 to 40 hours. But as always, quick reminder, this is a 100% blind playthrough. We don't want tips. We don't want you spoiling things. Don't tell us how to do things. Don't tell us what to do. If you want to give us clues, that's kind of cool. Just don't spill it out for me because in all honesty, I love the entire, like, point of exploring and trying to stumble upon things all on our own but with all that said grab your uh favorite drinks grab some snacks and let's get ready to play some subnautica on your game therapy for the next hour all right here we go one thing i will mention is as you can see we've changed our camera once again i watched a few uh well the last four episodes and I think this is might be the spot. This might end up being the spot where we keep our camera because um, on the upper left corner of the screen was anytime you scanned something, it would tell you how many pieces you needed to complete something. So I figured, I, I don't know, maybe that's something that you guys want to watch. I know you want to see my stats. I know you want to see the health and the water and all that stuff. But I figure you probably also wanted to be able to read that stuff on the upper left. So we're going to try this episode uh, with a camera here and see if we like it. Um, okay, so last time we were here, like I mentioned before, we had just um, done the Habitat Builder. We'd just done the Repair Tool. We have a few batteries, uh, the scanner. I need to use the scanner a lot more. Try to remind me to use my scanner a lot more. Um, I did want to switch out my flashlight with a new battery because I think the flashlight is still pretty good. Uh, let me try to figure out how to do this. How do I move? Okay, there we go. All right, exchange power source. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that. The sea glider is low, but it's okay. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to look at was, I believe we have the rebreather on right now, right? I don't want that. I want the radiation suit. Oh, no, we have the radiation. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and top ourselves off as far as water and food goes. I, I do like that best practice of having enough food and water. I think the lighter our bags are, the better, right? I have a battery here that we could probably just put away. I have an extra battery that we'll keep just in case. Uh, we have some food. I think we have a locker for food. So why don't we go there? Let's go get our locker. Um, food. We'll drink. We'll take a couple drinks and we'll take one more peeper. And that is all we will do for now. Um, I want to head towards the Aurora. Use feedback menu to report bugs and give feedback. I have asked for the volume on the PDAs to be increased twice now. And I have not gotten any type of response. So what is going on here? But okay. I want to see... I don't know what these floaters are for yet. See, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you out loud, like, kind of where I'm... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going to bug me a lot. Let's unpin that recipe from the top. Um, I have... There it is. Unpin recipe. Okay. I figure if I jump into the habitat thing, I'm going to stay there for the next three hours. And I don't want to do three episodes straight of building a habitat. So I figure let's go to the radiation zone first, and then we'll kind of, we'll go from there. So 
We're going to try the radiation area first, see what there is. Um, I don't want to use a sea glide. I kind of wish it was nighttime. Oh, so pretty, though. Why can't the ocean really be like this? Like the real ocean? Why does it have to be so scary? Oh, here we go. This is what I kind of was looking for. I was looking for like some sort of crash. <laughs> Screw you, man. Swing towards you, dog. <laughs> How did you get me? Oh, was two, there's two of them. Okay. I was about to say that guy can, can turn on a dime. This man just freaking Barry Sandered his ways into my face, but okay, there's two of you. That's okay. Oh, what's this? Beacon fragment. Okay, maybe not do that. How do I how do I scan? I forgot how to scan. Okay. Okay, so we have a new blueprint for the beacon. Acquired. A coffee vending machine! This couldn't possibly be any better. Hold on, let me move my camera up a little bit more. Because that's actually the whole point. The whole point was I wanted to be able to scan it too. So let's put it up like right here. Is that is that going to be weird for you guys? You guys let me know. Let me know in the comments if the camera placement's okay. Or where you'd rather see it. I mean really... I, I feel we have about 20-30 hours left of this game. Still ahead of us, so... You guys tell me where you want to see the camera. All I know is we just successfully scanned the copy machine. Dude, what's going on here? Are the waves like really high? Oh, is it because we're like... Okay, that's weird. Let's check this out. Let's look at the rest of this wreckage. Ooh, what's this? How do I go down? Down, there you go. There's another sea glide fragment. It's going to give us titanium, I believe. Which is fine. We'll take it. Up and down. Okay. The shoulder buttons work as up and down on the controller. It's just kind of fun to do it backwards. Okay. Geological data. Oh, cool. Air. So, so far, I I don't really know. I mean, the purpose of this game is to survive, right? That, I believe that's the point. Um, <clears throat> but I'm starting to get the vibe that there's actually a little bit of story behind it. Like, of course there was going to be story. But I guess what I mean is I think the further down we go, the more we're going to learn about this area. And I think the more we learn about this area, the more we're going to realize... That down is a long way down. And I know that was so eloquently put, but basically what I'm trying to say is I think that one glimpse that we got of Tokyo downtown, or that little area with all the pink highlights and stuff, I think there's more of those. So there's going to be a lot more. Also, this is such a cool color. What is this? Oh, same things. These look nice. Oh, look at this. So pretty. As you can see, I'm drawn by color. So, anything that has colors... Oh, shit. Okay, that's that sand shark guy. Uh. I'm assuming he's just, like, hunting stuff. But here, let's go towards the radiation area. Still haven't really seen any messages saying that we shouldn't. Ooh, what's this? Let's go back down for that. Now I'm wondering, am I getting damaged here for being so close to the radiation? I see my health bar is down, but I think that was because that guy exploded on my face. Don't clip that. Uh, pick up battery. Okay, I got a battery. Uh, that guy's really scary, and he's coming at us. Can you please not? What else is there? More metal salvage if we need it. What 
What is that? Giant coral tubes. Whoa. This is kind of creepy. Okay, so we're getting close to stuff. Alright, so we should be able to get really close now because we have the radiation suit. We're actually on the ship, which is kind of exciting. I was hoping we'd be able to do this. I bet there's more salvage. Yeah, let's let's leave the salvage for now. We, we need it. We'll need it for the habitat building. What is this? What is this? Propulsion cannon fragment. I believe we read about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we got that now, which is cool. We'll build one of those for sure. Now what's this? Uh, let's get some more titanium out of it. Oh, this guy is creepy. Radio. Now, does that mean titanium? Oh, those are big titanium chunks. Does that mean I have to go all the way back to the, to the habitat to be able to listen to the radio when it says this, or? Is there a way for me to access it from here? Because that would be pretty cool. Ooh, what's this? More propulsion cannon fragment. All right. So we'll take that. I'm worried that we're going to have full inventory soon. Ugh, yeah. It's starting to not have space. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Can we go down? Oh no. We don't want we don't want them to die. Yeah, like that's messed up. We gotta stop it somehow. How can we stop this? How could we contain the fallout as she said? Whoa. Check this out. Oh, hi, big guy. How would we contain the fallout? Can we can we do something about it? Oh shit. What is this? Filtered water? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. We're going really deep. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, how do I... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's so dark. I have a flashlight. I can't see a damn thing. What is this? Are we inside the ship? Okay, we're inside the ship. Um... I believe there is a jump, right? I found a jump the other the other episode. I've been working on I've been working on a couple games that'll be coming out soon. Um, we're wrapping up Soma. Probably, probably you're probably watching the last few episodes of Soma now. Um, laser cutters might be needed. Shit, we're like totally not in the right place, are we? But we have to do something about this place before all the aliens die. But yeah, I'm working on one other game. That's kind of taking a lot of my time. And um, I'm really excited about it. It's, it's a topic that I obviously love a lot. And also, I've heard horrible things about the game. I've heard good things about the game. So, I can't wait to really get started on that one. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here. I wish I had sunlight because it would help, I would imagine. But I'm just trying to see if there's any way we could shut down the reactor. Which probably does not... It's probably not going to... It's probably not going to work out for us. Because we don't have a laser cutter or uh, what else did she say we needed? God, it is so big though. Wow, 
Wow. Okay, I have no idea where we are. It is beyond dark. What? What? Hey, back off. We're faster than you. Leave us alone. Oh shit, oh shit. I, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Where'd the ship go? Okay. I think we've seen one of those guys before. He's like a shark, kind of. Come on, man. There's got to be something here. So many chunks of, like... Ooh. What's this? Salvage. Nah. Don't need that. More salvage? Yeah. Oh, is that salt? Could use that. Whoa. More salvage. Incredibly dark. Okay. Pick up some quartz, I guess. Well, these guys are... I don't want to scan these guys. Come on, buddy. Damn you! Come here. Okay, we got them. We'll read about them later. As we try to navigate this uh, this area so 24 hours it's going to cause harm to like propulsion cannon it's going to give me more titanium I don't have bag space for that right now I don't think I can do anything or maybe I could have if I had a laser cutter ooh salt let's get that maybe if I had a laser cutter Oh shit. Okay. Hey, that's not good. I just took a pretty big fall. Is there nothing to be done? That sucks. I don't want them all to die or be something something harmed or This is terrifying by the way. I don't like this at all. Like I hate I hate I hate I hate water. I hate water that I can't see through. And I'm just like all right. 100 meters. No, no, no. We don't Oxygen want to pass 100 meters. Decreased. Okay, let's just go straight in. Seek fluid intake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. All right, well, this is going to this is gonna fall apart. This is going to die. We probably just want to get the hell out of here. Cyclops engine fragment. Huh. Let's see if we can find more of that. Yeah, 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 right here, right here. Ooh, we need one more. We need one more. We can find one more. Let's find one more. 30 seconds. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Let's get some water. Okay, let's get some water. Okay, so we got some water. Let's get some health, by the way. And let's get some food. Okay. Vital let's go back in. Stabilizing. Can we find one more Cyclops thing? There we go. Cool. I wonder what that is. 
lithium here? Is this metal salvage? Yeah, we're okay on the metal salvage. Alright, so I'm sure I have another battery in my backpack. So we might as well use this till it runs out. What are you? What was that? That scream was terrifying. Holy sh... Yeah, we have battery. Let's see. Take item, that was a battery. Okay. We don't need the lights. Yeah, pick up first aid kit. Why not? Dude, that thing just took metal salvage. Whoa, 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 I see you. Hold on. Oh, this is, we need this. We need this. Um, I remember, that's to make, like, for your, for your, uh, vehicles. Yeah, yeah, we need this, we need this, we need this. This is really good. Very fortunate. Let's find one more. One more piece somewhere. Oh shit, I didn't realize I was this close. Okay, okay, okay. Oxygen. Sorry, I, I totally, totally blanked on the oxygen part. I forgot we need to actually breathe. Okay, so we need one more of those. There's got to be one around here. There's one, two. If I were a box, there, I'd be right here. I'd be right here. Ah, that's not it. Okay, first aid kit. We'll take it. Where else would I be if I were a box? What is this? Cyclops Bridge Fragment. Interesting. Not sure what that is. But... This is Metal Salvage. Ooh, more boxes. Water. Okay. Is this, is this what I think it is? No. More metal salvage. Uh, how much oxygen do I have? Okay, we have plenty. Let's go. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Holy! Oh, wow! That thing was huge! What the hell's up with that guy? He came out of nowhere! I can scan this. Ooh, a vending machine. Very nice. Definitely want to make one of those. Well, let's make a trash can, too. Because we, we recycle in this household. Um, what else do I got? How much oxygen do I have? Oh, sea glide. I already have that. It's just going to give me a bunch of... Okay, so we're looking for the third part of the mobile bay. I feel like we got, we went away from where the stuff was. I think it was more over this way. Oh, what's that? Sample analyzer? Is that what it said? Hmm. Okay, we got a new blueprint for that. Where would the mobile bay part be, that third one? I believe it was over here near the scary guy. So we're going towards the scary guy over here. It was closer to the ship. I believe the ship's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was around here. I believe this is where it was. So if you were a third part of a mobile sea glide or whatever, or mobile bay, where would you be? You'd be somewhere around here. No. Damn. 
there's something about this this game that's oddly like I think I mentioned this before, but there's something about this game that's oddly like therapeutic. It's like you're just you start off with nothing and now you're starting to build up something. It's got that Stardew Valley kind of quality to it where it's like you're working towards a goal um, but you're not I don't know you're not doing a, you're not doing a lot but you're doing so much. If that made absolutely no sense, it's okay. I, I don't make sense most of the time. What's this? Inventory full, really? Here, let me just drink a water then. Oh, because the coffee machine or whatever I picked up. Uh, whoa! Inventory full for the salt. All right, it had to have been right here where I got the mobile bay part, right? Yeah, this is the spot. So I would imagine the third piece would be somewhere down here. Metal salvage. Metal salvage. Also, we should probably find either air bubbles or go surface. Oh, that's, no, that's, I already picked that up. All right. It's gotta be down here somewhere, near the scary guy. Yeah, I guess I could scan you. No risk, no reward, right? No, I don't think you'd be in here. It magically fall all the way here. Salt. A lot of these guys. Oh man, I want that third one so bad. Because I'm pretty sure once I get that third one, I could build that thing, and then I can get the Seamoth. And I really want the Seamoth. It sounds like it's basically a little ship. Uh, it's not either. Oh, is this it? I'm so turned around now. Oh, is that a forklift? Sea glad. Oh, we've seen this before. We were here just recently. Yeah, we got the trash can from here. Well, the other thing we gotta worry about is our supplies. Where are our supplies at? We have health and we have food. We have one water left. We only have one inventory spot. So realistically, we gotta start heading back soon. I just really wanna find that third part. Okay. Alright, so there's air bubbles up there. Let me just get myself oriented on where the ship is. The ship is over there. Okay, now that the sun is out, we should be able to... Um, we should be able to see a lot better. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way towards the ship and see if there happens to be any other pieces on the ground. This creature egg? Yeah, creature eggs. Come on, there should be a third piece somewhere around here. It would make sense to keep them all together. How did I get turned so turned around? Crazy. Crazy. Come on. Seventy. We know what happens at a hundred, our oxygen just goes bye bye. Oh, oh, what's this? What? What? I 
bio reactor. just happened why did I why did I get hurt what happened scanner room fragment oh I hear it on my right what is that what is that oh okay you're good you're cool you're a cool guy I think you're nice you're not nice Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Bioreactor fragments. That's good. What else can we get? Wow. He's so big. He's such a big boy. Alright, let's go up. Let's get some air, and then we'll come back down. This seems to be a pretty good spot. We're behind the ship. There's gotta be more stuff around here. I'm a little nervous. What happens at 24 hours? Oh, look. Oh, look. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, look. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's not get, let's not get blind. Let's not, come on. We're getting distracted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let, let, let's focus on the task at hand. We really want to go down to Tokyo, and we can't because we got other stuff to do. Let's, let's focus. Focus. Are they fighting each other? What is this? No, metal salvage. No. What is this? Mobile bay? No. Mobile bay? No, metal salvage. Really close, okay. Mobile bay, metal salvage. Ooh, another box. Oh, uh, inventory full. Well, we need we need the water. Here, we'll just take the water. No. What are you? Oh my God! Oh my God! What the? F Fuck is this thing? Holy shit, it's angry. What the hell was that? Holy crap. Okay, let's just pop both of them. What the hell? Be careful, we're being hunted. We're being hunted. Yo, that was so quiet, it snuck up on me. Is that what I think it is? No, but we could just Cyclops engine. Oh, uh, we, we already got that. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh my god, what was that? That's that's a big guy. That dude almost killed us in one shot. Uh, what is this? Cyclops bridge fragment? Did we already get this? I think we already got this. I wish there was a way it told us. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Where are we going? Uh, let's let's go up, 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 up. 16, 14. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Oh shit, here he is! He's still here. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. I don't even want to look over my shoulder. I don't want to look over. Okay, so that big guy is not friendly. Uh, unlike his brother, the big guy. That guy's not friendly. That is a not friendly guy. I feel like we're in a... Okay. 
What was that? Should we scan this? Yeah, let's scan it. I haven't scanned it before. Oh man. Okay, we're back to friendly waters. Friendlier waters. Okay. So that was terrifying. Actually terrifying. I, um... Yeah. Everything I just said. These guys look like pussies next to that guy. Like, what is that? Like, that thing was... That thing was big. That thing was big, and it was scary, and it was angry. And I didn't have the time to scan it. I, I, I wish I could have scanned him, but unfortunately, he's in my face and, like, trying to bite my head off, so... I didn't really have time. I don't know. I can't pick up anything. Okay. We're here. Let's, uh... Open storage. Cool, we have plenty of spots here. Titanium, you drop the cave sulfur, the quartz. Okay. We have a few batteries. Um, that's food. We could put we could put a first aid kit in there just for the sake of it. Um, what is this? Sample analyzer. Hmm. Not sure what I can use that for. That's just random stuff. Uh, why don't we just toss that in there? Oh, I should have pulled out my knife and I should have fought that thing. I'm sure that would have been effective. A knife against him. Um, let's go inside. Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh, I just had to crack my back. Um. I'm still holding the sea glide in my hand. That was actually scary. So that, that was scary. I will give it to them. That was scary. Um, let's put the old batteries in here. Now I wonder, I think I asked this question before, and I think I actually already know the answer, but I forget. Um, I think I can use the old batteries in any of the recipes that ask for batteries, even though they don't have any charge left in them. It seems like they still count. Okay, so I got titanium. Um... Advanced wiring kit. Okay. What I really should be doing is I, sh I think I have enough food for one more day. Propulsion cannon. Laser cutter. Now it did say I needed a laser cutter, but I don't know the ingredients yet. Okay. Pathfinder tool sounds pretty appealing as well. Uh, but here we go. Deployables. A beacon. It maintains and broadcasts its position with a configurable name. Okay, so it's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, waterproof locker. Grav. The grav trap uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Okay. Oh, the radio. There was a radio transmission. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Okay. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sun him out. Oh, so he's saying we had a lot of bad already, but like he's good. He's some of the good coming our way. Um, can we drop? We can't drop it in here, can we? No, it's dumb. Uh, let's... What can I put? Uh, that's a lot of stuff. What do we have in here? A lot of stuff. What do we have in here? A lot of stuff. What do we have in here? A lot of stuff. We have so many lockers and they're all full. Okay, there's 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 some room in here, but I don't really wanna. Um, let's take another couple waters, and then you know what? Even though this is blasphemy, let's go ahead and put some titanium in here, just to get it out of our hands. Let's put one battery away. Uh, let's put two batteries away. 
Also, what is this? Can we just drop this? We'll drop it. At worst, if I need it, I'll go get it from there. Okay. So. Actually, now that I think about it, I do kind of want a beacon. What was required for a beacon? Copper ore and titanium. Okay, so I, I have those. I have those somewhere in here, I'm sure. Let me go through my assortment of boxes again. Copper ore and titanium. Was that what it was? I should have just put it on my screen. Copper ore, titanium. Wait, was it a battery? Oh my god, I just saw it. How did I not? Okay, there it is. Copper ore and titanium. Now we have a beacon. So this is what we're going to do this time around. Do I have any acid mushrooms so I can make batteries? I don't. Let's, um... Oh, I can make power cells, though, with, with dead batteries, can I? Uh... Power cell. I need two batteries and silicone rubber. Okay, you know what? I have two dead batteries. Mm, they're in here. And then I have silicone rubber. So could I technically make a power cell with that? I could. I could. Okay. That'll be good for the for the sea glide. All right. So this is what I wanted to do with the beacon in hand. Um, I want to go in the direction that I don't think I've gone. If that way is the ship and that way is the way I've been, then I've never gone north. So I want to go north as far as I can go. And here, give me one second. I need to readjust. Okay. As you guys can see, I've played golf recently. So that means my back is just absolutely insane. All right, so we're going in a direction that I don't think we've ever gone before. I don't think I've gone north. And I just want to see if I can accidentally stumble upon something. Oh, what's this? Sea moth fragment. Oh, I thought I didn't have it yet. So for the most part, we're looking for salt. Um, we're looking for salt. Pick a boomerang. Is that another sea moth fragment? It is. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I understand. Oh, there's some parts over there. Whoa, there's two of them. Three of them. Let's eat something real quick. And let's have a water. Okay. I believe there was a crash here somewhere. Wasn't there? Didn't I just see there they are? Okay, so what's down here? A part of me really wants to find that mobile bay. Part. Wait, have I been here before? I didn't think I'd gone north before. You know what, let's pick up a couple acid mushrooms just for uh, batteries. Okay. I think I have been here then. There's something. Here's something. Metal salvage. Damn it. I don't remember what the mobile bay thing looks like. But the reason why I wanted to go this way is because I'm looking for red grass. And I think we just found some. This looks like red grass. And if I recall correctly, there was a message about something and red grass. What are those? Yeah, let's go back up, but this looks interesting. Yeah, we're going to go up, but we really want to go down. Oh, 
I thought something was chasing me. Okay, so we're going north. We're gonna go down. As a matter of fact, let's switch on to our rebreather. For efficiency. What is this? Ancient floater. Wow, you're scary. But you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Whoa. Are you predator? Yeah, we haven't been this way, or we haven't gone this far, I don't think. Hmm. Let's go back up. Let's go back up, because I think we're really deep. We're super deep. And we're going to need a battery soon. But that's why we came prepared. We came prepared with a power cell, because I think if we have a power cell, we can get, like, extra power, right? It's 200 instead of 100. Oh, it doesn't use that. It uses just regular battery. Okay. I thought the power cell would make it go even further, but... I don't know where we're going, man. But we're going somewhere magical. <laughs> And this was what I was going to say earlier Was The reason why I really What? Time capsule <gasps> Oh that's electrified Oh shit reason why I wanted to go over here. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I didn't even finish my thought. I just, I just got lost in so many thoughts. What I was going to say is the reason why I love this game so much is because you can just go on forever. It feels like you could just go. What does that mean? Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. This data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Okay, so we've pretty much reached the edge of the crater, and it's basically telling us this way lie the dinosaurs that are going to kill us if we go any further. So I, I, I wanted to basically see how far we could go before we hit the edge of the map. I don't think there is an edge of the map, but I'm pretty sure we can't go equipped with the stuff that we have right now. So let's not go this way. Um, limestone outcrops. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the, mechanis the mechanism remains unknown. Okay. 
Um, we found quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to read those in a little bit, but I want to see what the time capsule was. What is this? Stay positive, friend. This game was amazing and a lot of fun. See us face cowboy. Huh. Is he tickling something that's smiling at him? And wow, that looks like a really nice base, by the way. It looks like he's got like a greenhouse or he or she's got a greenhouse. They've got a bunch of... Wait, can I write messages to other people? Is this a message from somebody else? It feels like in Bloodborne and stuff where you could leave a note behind. That's pretty cool. That's that's really cool if that's what it is. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got quite a few plans for building a Cyclops. What is a Cyclops? Scanner room. Locate resources and wrecks within range. Interesting. Okay. Bioreactor. Compost organic matter into electrical energy. Permanently deconstruct unwanted items and safely release your... Okay. Caffeine-free coffee. Who wants decaf? Come on. We unlocked so many things. Um, this is going to seem weird, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a beacon here. Where are the beacons? Did I bring my beacon with me? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Where'd the beacon go? Oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Nothing like seeing a... a translucent dinosaur snake to really make you feel small. Uh, I dropped a beacon over there and beacon one. I wanted to name it something, but we're going to go ahead and just run with beacon one. Beacon one, you are the edge of the north that I've gone to. Uh, the next the next time I head out, I'm going to go as south as I can. Because I believe I've only gone east and west in my travels. Wow. That was truly scary, actually. You run into these Leviathan, I'm assuming they're called Leviathan class species, and they're just so, so insanely big. It's funny because we, we set out to either conquer the radiation zone or build a habitat or go back to the Tokyo zone. And I think I did neither of them. I, I kind of snooped around the radiation area, but I don't think I actually did a lot of the things I said I was going to do at the top of the hour. This music is kind of weird. I, I need to find a laser cutter is what I need to do because I guess I can go somewhere in the ship with a laser cutter according to whatever she said. Oh, those guys are cool. Yeah, I think, I think the next adventure is going to be to go just straight south and see what's over there. And in the meantime, as I'm going towards the back to our base, I would like to just see if there's any crashes out here by any chance. Any wreckages, any stuff that I could actually pick up. Ooh. What's 
What's this? Oh! Oh, we did it! That was such perfect, perfect timing. We could not have possibly... That could not have been scripted better. Like... Oh my god, what's this? Okay, more, more fragment. Give me titanium. I have a feeling we're gonna need it for whatever we build. That was perfect! What a wonderful... Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh, we already, we already got the bioreactor. Yeah. 30 seconds. I know, I know. I already got this too, but... Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I, th I thought... Oh, okay, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I deserve to die, I deserve to die. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought we had the extra tank. Uh, I don't know why in my head I thought we still carried the extra tank. We don't, we don't longer... Okay. We no longer carry the extra tank. Um, what else is down here? This looks like a cool little tiny wreck. Or a tiny piece of... Okay, that was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I don't want to be touched by you guys, because I know you guys sting and paralyze. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to go into that little house of yours. I'm sure. Okay, more titanium. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say we've got everything we needed here. We even got some extra salts. Inventory's full. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm super happy about that. We, we got the mobile bay. I don't even know, like... I don't know if it's what I think it is, but I believe that's what allows us to build this, the, the sea moth. And that's kind of what I want. I want the sea moth to mess around in. But okay. Um, let's board the pod. Is there any radio? No. Let's get, uh, okay, yeah, we can't because I have all these things. Um, let's drink some water. Eat a little guy. And then get the medical kit. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Mobile vehicle bay requires titanium, ingot, lubricant, and power cell. I have all of those things. I actually have all of those things. So why don't we do that? Why don't we build that? Um, I believe titanium ingots, I would have had in the ore. I have lubricant. Let's put the battery away, that's dead. Um, wow, there's so many things in my bags. Uh, let's put some, some of the mushrooms away as well. And let's get the the lubricant I already have, the ingot I need. This is not where the ingot is. No. There they are. I should have pinned the damn. Okay, I need to write myself a letter. Pin your goddamn recipes. Wait, cool. We can make it. So what does this do? Wait, could I have read what it does before I made it? Just in case it's not what I want. Inventory full. I don't think it's what I want. It's not what I want, is it? It's not what I want. Uh, it's not what I want. I have a feeling this is not what I want. And, and I can't... How do I... I don't know what I can do here. What, what can I do to free up some space? 
Um, can I just drop titanium outside? Can I just drop it outside? Can I like literally... I've actually never tried that. Can I just drop things to the bottom of the floor? Like just drop, 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 drop. Is this like Skyrim where it's gonna stay? I used to have houses of stuff that I stole. What? This is not at all what I thought it was. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? How do I, how do I use this? Mm. Okay. How do I do this? Should be in water to deploy vehicle bay. Uh, release vehicle bay. Okay. What is this? Wait, titanium ingot, power cell, gla I have this. I have all these things. Ooh, a cyclops. An ingot, a power cell. I have these things. Wait one moment, sir. I believe I have all these things. Um. Okay. A power cell. Wait, did I somehow? Okay. An ingot? Need glass. I have quartz, which is the same thing. Oh, I have glass as well. Two. I need lubricant. I need lead. I think I have lead literally right here somewhere. I just saw it. Lead? I need lubricant and I need a power cell. And I believe I have both of those. I have a power cell right here. And then I just have a lubricant in here. Are we about to make it? We're about to do this. We're about to do this. We're about to do this. Upgrades. Oh my god, this is overwhelming. I just want to enter it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh my god. This is so cool. Look at who's got a new car. Look at my new ride. That is so cool. And I got a radio transmission. Hold on, let's go look at the radio transmission. We got the Seamoth. I'm so excited. Holy, wow. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Interesting. Dry land. Is there dry land? Uh, whoa. Oh my god. God, that looks like a sub.
Oh, <laughs> the Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name. It features three speed manual piloting controls and forward observation deck for precise maneuvering, and dry dock for transportation, maintenance, and recharging of scouting vehicles. Wait, I can keep vehicles inside of the Cyclops? Extensive storage solutions in the keel hold section, internal and external video feeds, onboard AI for threat detection, extensive customization options. Advice for captains, higher speed generate additional noise, which may attract undesired attention. Power consumption, engine off is zero, slows 25%, standards 50, flanks 100. Silent running mode may be activated in conjunction with any speed setting to reduce noise. Okay, Cyclops upgrades may be fabricated at the terminal. Top speed, eight meters per second, acceleration, okay. The Cyclops does not feature habitation quarters. It is recommended the captain draw up a rota to decide who gets to sleep in the corridor each night. Automatic fire suppression. We're going to need fire extinguishers. In the event of full system failure, this vehicle will sink. The mobile vehicle bay is a deployable station equipped with fabrication drones designed to construct small research and exploration vehicles from raw materials. And we just got our Seamoth. Wow. It crushes at 200 meters below sea level. Okay, so I can go I can go down to Tokyo with this thing. And I can increase cargo storage. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this pretty much opened up a brand new world for me. The mobile vehicle bay was such a good find and it came so late in this run. Um, but this is going to be a good stopping point for me because I think the very next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and jump into habitat building. If there's anything that this time capsule just showed me, which by the way, this is so cool. If this is another player out there, TC13300273361, I salute you. Thank you for letting me see what's possible. Um, but this looks so cool. Like I want to build something like that. And then I could like have more storage and ideally not have 10 lockers just floating underwater uh, and maybe build some like get some like actual like greenhouses under there and aquariums and all of this stuff. But anyways, this is where I'm going to wrap up um, this episode. As always, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next episode. Bye bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode on your game therapy. Please like the video to help others find our community and subscribe so you won't miss the next episode.